Morning guys, right, this one is about the Shadow Boxer, real name, Paul Flowerty, yeah, that little friendship between him and Decker didn't last long, did it? Unbelievable, man, madness, I tell you what, to be fair to him, Decker, he's done the right thing and he's done himself a very big favour here by kicking that plum right to the curb, because the Shadow Boxer, and this is fact, the Shadow Boxer, a.k.a. Paul Flaherty, is a convicted sex offender. Yeah? And why would you want someone like that wrapped around you? In 2018, a jury had enough evidence to convict the Shadow Boxer for sexual assault on a girl that he met on Tinder. He took a girl out on a date, he met her on Tinder, they were chatting, they met up for drinks, they ended up back at his place, I believe, uh, and that's when the sexual assault by the shadow boxer happened and there was enough evidence for a jury to convict him yeah so he is 100 percent legit a convicted sex offender make no mistake about that make no qualms about it he is proven convicted the shadow boxer a wrong one shadow boxer has been talking a lot lately about being in the middle of a legal battle to get the conviction overturned and he said things like it's definitely going to happen. He's going to win compensation, big compensation, and his conviction is going to be overturned. He's going to be proven innocent, and everyone's going to be very sorry, and he's going to prevail, yeah? This is utter bullshit. He is in the middle of a legal battle with the system, yeah? It's over some injuries he got while he was in prison, so he's after compensation. Nothing to do with overturning his conviction. His conviction won't be overturned. He was convicted. He was a sex offender. He'll always be a sex offender. These legal battles that he's telling people that he's in the uh, the midst of, that he's close to winning, nothing to do with overturning his uh, sexual assault conviction, yeah? He's claiming for injuries suffered in jail. Probably when he got battered, when it came out, he was a wrong one, to be honest. And I was crying the blues, trying to get a better compo. But he's telling people it's to get his conviction overturned and to be proven innocent, which is going to happen. It's not. He's a fantasist. He's a narcissistic fantasist. Yeah? The legal battle he's in is for claiming for injuries suffered in jail. His conviction's going nowhere. His record's going nowhere. He is 100% a bona fide sexual offender. He's a wrong one. Fact. And here's another fact for you. Yeah? Paul Flowerty, shadow boxer, is 100% absolutely a deluded narcissist. Yeah? This is what a deluded narcissist looks like and sounds like. All his boasts about becoming the next Conor McGregor, blowing up big in the MMA scene, yeah? He's a clout chaser. He's after fame. He's after recognition. Uh, this is what narcissists do. Uh, and they deny, deny, deny. They lie. They believe their own fantasies. Their own fantasies. They get lost in their own world that they've made themselves in their own twisted mind. Yeah, and this is exactly what the Shadow Boxer does. So, uh, say what you want about Decker, but it appears that once he found out all of this, when he heard about the conviction and all that business, he did the right thing, he called him out, and he kicked him straight out of his little circle. Yeah, and Decker's not got many friends, so he's not going to kick friends to the curb easily, is he, without good reason. But that's what he's done with the Shadow Boxer. This absolute weirdo and wrong one. So, yeah. The Shadow Boxer. Probably tick him off your babysitting list. 